Hello, this month Gems video is on the revolutionary new technology, the 640G, which is supposedly the first generation artificial pancreas. Do we really require these very expensive technologies in diabetes? Yes, we require, we do require. The reasons are multiple. Majority of patients with diabetes never reach and sustain their glycemic targets. The major challenge in treating diabetes for me and for you and for any patient or any doctor will be the fear of hypoglycemia. The challenge treating diabetes is the fear of death due to very low sugars. So we really require advanced technologies to overcome the fear of hypoglycemia which will help us deliver insulin, normalize sugars without the glucose dropping and that's this, the most revolutionary path breaking innovation in the history of diabetes, the first generation artificial pancreas which is so different from the earlier devices because of various reasons. So what are the unique features of this most advanced insulin delivery device in diabetes? Number one, it has got a user interface and experience quite different from the existing devices the radio frequency protocol, there is an integrated meter, there is a hypo protection which is fully automated. When the blood sugars drops, the device will stop delivering insulin 30 minutes before the actual onset of hypoglycemia. 640G will prevent dangerous hypoglycemia and studies have shown the success in preventing hypoglycemia close to 98 percentage of episodes and the sensor which is the inline sensor continuously monitors glucose levels with accuracy and with comfort. It automatically stops insulin when the sensor glucose is predicted to approach the set lower limit. And this device will have a mechanism by which it automatically resumes the delivery of insulin once the glucose values reach normal levels. And it works throughout the day throughout the night and you can program up to eight low limits. So it's from one to eight limits we can set for predictive hypoglycemia suspend. So here there is an example of how this device is uh, stopping the delivery of insulin based on a low sensor value. So if you have set at 60 milligram, the device will stop delivering the insulin within 30 minutes. So before 30 minutes of reaching 60 milligrams per deciliter. So it estimates by itself using an algorithm or within 20 milligrams per deciliter above the lower limit within 30 minutes. So this is the actual predictive hypoglycemia suspend mechanism. So alert 
before low. There is an option to be alerted when the insulin is suspended. An alert will sound if low limit is reached and that happens even when there is no insulin delivery. And it resumes the delivery of insulin when the sensor glucose is at least 20 mg above the low level which is set. And estimated to be more than 40 mg per deciliter above the low limit within 30 minutes. And insulin has been suspended for at least half an hour. Insulin delivery is resumed either when the glucose values reaches acceptable levels or the user has not manually resumed insulin or it could be auto resumed based on a sensor glucose criteria has not been met or if the basal insulin has been suspended for 2 hours. 640G will have 3 components. Number 1 is for insulin delivery. Number 2 is the transmitter with the sensor for continuous sensing of glucose from the interstitial fluid. And the third component is the contour glucose meter which can be used by the patient for monitoring the glucose levels, for remote control of the device where in which the patient can have the bonus delivery from the remote control. And these devices will be communicating with each other via radio frequency. Unlike the earlier insulin pumps, this comes in a different fashion. It is ambidextrous. We can use with both hands. It has got a color display. It is totally waterproof. Can be used while swimming and while bathing. And it has got a smart guard mechanism. This is the back button and this is the menu button. And you can go to the sensor settings. And unlike in the earlier devices, here you have a low setting and you can have multiple low settings and suspend before low and alert on low. So you can go for suspend before low and the pump will get suspended at least 30 minutes before the onset of a hypoglycemia where you can have a time frame and a low value attached to it. So here I am setting 12 am to 6 am at night and I have put it as 80 milligrams per deciliter so that the pump will suspend the delivery of insulin well before the actual 80 milligram is reached. This is so different from the earlier VO pump which will suspend at the onset of a hypo which probably is not that useful in the treatment of diabetes whereas 640G will suspend before the onset of a hypo before the real accident occurs, it will apply the brakes, which is the one which is actually required in diabetes practice. 640G will continuously, subcutaneously deliver insulin. The contour next meter will function as a glucometer and as a remote control. And the inlaid sensor will continuously monitor the interstitial glucose values. All the devices connected with each other via wireless technology, via radio frequency. And that is the beauty of technology. We are 
very very close to closing the loop with this first generation artificial pancreas and there are up to five new devices coming up in the next five to eight years which will dramatically and drastically change the way we treat diabetes. Since the discovery of insulin in 1922, we were dreaming of a fully automatic delivery of insulin. It was a long search. Thanks to the pioneering works of Dr. Moshe Philip, Dr. Heider, and so many others across the world, exciting innovations in diabetes continues. This is Dr. Jodhadev from Jodhadev's Diabetes Research Centers in Kerala. Thank you very much for your emails, comments and criticisms. And this is the GEMS team from Jodhadev's signing off. Bye-bye.